Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Early this morning, I was trying to clean our surroundings, especially this garden. And I'm using the grass cutter to trim down the unnecessary weeds and to make this garden beautiful. And while I was cutting, I had this realization in life that in life, we had to trim down unnecessary attitudes like anger, like hatred, like jealousy. These are the things that we have to cut down or trim down from ourselves. In order to live long and in order to enjoy this life while we are still here on Earth. For today's video, allow me to make an update about our birds. Well, I know that some of you are so much eager and excited to hear the updates of our birds. And there are things that I would like to share with you right now because these things are new to me. These realizations are actually very effective that I have to share this with you. We will disturb our parakeets. As I can see from here, they're eating this water spinach. And this is the regular early morning breakfast and we will get inside and I would like to tell you some very informative updates about our birds. So come on, let's go inside and we will see what happened there. Well, I can say that the zebra fins and the parakeets can get along together, but there is one problem. When the zebra fins will lay their eggs because they are disturbed by the parakeets. And one of you said in our past video that this uh, parakeets will disturb the zebra fins, especially during the nesting or the laying of the eggs period. And that is correct. So this is the lesson that I have realized. That's why I made an adjustment about this. I made this bamboo for the zebra fins because they are needing the privacy from these parakeets. So 
So in order for these parakeets not to disturb this zebra, I made a nest box out of this bamboo with a very small hole so that the parakeets could not disturb the zebra. I don't know if this is gonna work. I already have observed many eggs of zebra, but they were disturbed by the parakeets. So this is actually an adjustment, but if this will not work, of course, I will be forced to get all the zebra fins from here and separate them in another cage. Well, what's your thought about this? This hole is quite small and only the zebra can get inside through this hole. That's why I said they will have this privacy because the parakeets could not get inside here. And I hope this will work. I don't know if how to fix this one, but I think uh, we can tie this against the wire mesh and uh, maybe this will work and if you have knowledge about this of course you can educate me this is a channel where i don't pretend to be all-knowing if you have experiences about this you can educate me and i'm very humble enough to accept all your suggestions another thing that i have observed is that when you allow the babies to grow in the breeding cage this will create disturbance so what I did was to regularly get all the babies from the breeding cage because if they will be allowed to just grow and become adult inside the breeding cage, this is not good because they will disturb their parents, they will disturb the breeders. So we have another cage to mention which is the flight cage or a small cage for that matter where we're gonna stock them and you know let them pair naturally and then that's gonna be the time if they are already pairing that's gonna be the time that we can get the true pair and put them in the breeding cage and we can hear from here the chirpings of the babies i think these are small babies these old babies and we're gonna open this one now so that we can see what's the condition of the babies here inside. Wow, I have seen four. Actually, four babies. Very cute and very healthy. Just for filming purposes, I'm disturbing them. And I would like to tell you that the clay pots are really the best compared to the bamboos and other nesting box like the wood. So I can say now that though the clay pots are easily broken, but still I can say that this is the best for our parakeets. I don't know for African, I haven't tried this one because the African has this powerful beak that can munch anything hard. Even the wire mesh, if this is less in you know, quality, they can still destroy it. And more importantly, aside from the nesting boxes, I would like to tell you that the success for our breeding of these birds is the kind of food, the kind of cleanliness or attention that we're gonna give them, and of course, the ability to detect when there are already ants, because the ants really are the number one enemy in any aviary, because they can eat the, you know, the waste, the food, that's why I said we have to maintain the cleanliness to avert the presence of this very devastating ants. Well, when we're gonna do the harvest, we have to make sure that the ones that we get are not the parent stocks. Because if we can get the parent stocks, of course, all these babies will die naturally. And one of the tips that I can give you is for us to observe very carefully the appearance of the birds. When they are young, when they are clean, and their beaks are not dirty, then we can safely assume that they are the babies and they are not as uh, you know, agile as the adult ones. So it's very easy to detect. But I cannot trust my, my staff in doing these things. I have to do this personally because I'm really very afraid that they might get the parent stocks instead of the young ones during the harvest.
So we have just fixed everything for a zebra fence and I hope that this will work. But if this will not work, of course, as ma I must tell you that we will think about another method, which is to really separate the zebra fence in another cage. So these are the learnings that I have realized today and I hope that this will help. So these are the things that I can share with you so far. I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to the channel, I would like to request that you will subscribe because we are uploading videos which are informative out of our personal experience. I would like to see you in my next video guys and I hope all is well with you and God bless us all. All here at Dexter's World.